person. Uh, let spirit know. Let's see what signs are coming in for uh, 2023. Aries. Someone with Aries energy. Any sign. That's what I'm getting. Okay. And they might be hiding it right now, but I feel like they're going to pop up. Get pop-up energy. Okay, let's check that Mercury. Okay. So, let's take these cards back. This is pertaining to someone with this placement in their Mercury. Let's see. What's the problem here? Okay, so in the past, in their communication, they could have even been stubborn, they could have locked horns with you, they could have been pushy and um, was demanding, that kind of communication. And you probably didn't like that, okay? It's like you had horns too, okay? All right, so... Okay, so, but I feel like that was a match there. Okay. Yeah, okay, so now, could have been a Gemini, but what I'm getting is, see, Mars is in Gemini retrograde. So that's probably the feeling of wanting to go back to the past and mend it, any words that were said. Okay, and bring healing to it, Chiron. Yeah. Okay. Scorpio on the bottom. Okay, so if you're in your feels, this is really important. You have to stay in your honor and integrity. It's through speech and, and through how you move your energy. Okay, and that will make a difference in how you bring in 2023. All right, so let's see since... That's the feeling I get why you weren't with anybody. Let's see what they want to say. I could stay with you forever and never realize the time. Bob Dylan, you're going to make me lonesome when you go. Yeah. So this is someone that you left. And um, whether you were married or not. And... Uh, they're trying to figure out a way in. That's the story. Okay, I'll leave you with that.